Hello everybody and welcome to a new episode of OMG Craft. Today we are going to be taking a look at how to get every single <gasps> music disc as you probably already saw from the title. Why, why am I even trying? Why am I even trying chicken? Why? So first off is that the technique that, did you just poop? He just pooped right in front of us. Chicken. I hope that your child, oh, I guess I'm in creative, so that didn't really work out. Anyway, get out of here, egg. So we are gonna be taking a look at one technique that can basically be used for every single music disc, except for one. One of these discs is not like the other. And then we're also gonna be taking a look at a different technique that can be used for two of these music discs. So, the first technique that we're going to cover can be used for every disc inside of the chest at the moment, except for pig step. And then we're going to go to pig step and then we're going to go to 13 and cat. And there's a special technique for those two music discs. So let me switch into survival mode here and show you guys the main way you get music discs is by having a skeleton shoot at you and hit a creeper. Hopefully we don't blow this creeper up. And whenever a skeleton kills a creeper, then it will drop a music disc. The creeper will drop a music disc on top of its normal drops. If you can actually get the friggin' skeleton to hit the creeper. Okay, here we go, here we go. Oh. You killed my chicken! You are kidding me. They ask you how you are and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. Okay, hit the, hit the, hit the, oh my gosh, you are joking. Come on. There. Okay, that was one hit. Come on. Okay, as you can see, this technique is, is, is tedious. It's tedious. We, I'm just trying to do this just to show you what happens. You, you're joking. My, my creeper blew up. Oh my gosh. Okay, new creeper, new skeleton. Let's get this done. There we go. Okay, so you can see the creeper died and it dropped a music disc whenever it died. As you can also see from me goofing off here, trying to show you guys just how the basic mechanics work, it can be very, very, very difficult to get the skeleton and the creeper to line up so that the, the hit is actually landed and you, you know your other animals that you love and care about don't die. So we're going to try that again, but this time we are going to use my technique on how to pull this off. Get yourself some wood, make up a crafting table. Next, make two boats, two of them. Now, if you're on Bedrock Edition, you can actually get away with just a single boat. And I'm gonna show that to you right after I show you this, this technique um, in Bedrock Edition. But for those Java Edition users, you gotta make two. Wait for it to become nighttime and then get a creeper and a skeleton. My creeper is down here. And now you're going to put both of them into a boat. So if you want this skeleton in the boat, I, I find that normally sticking it behind them, I, did I got unlucky that time. So we're gonna have to try to like maneuver around. Okay, well maybe we'll just pick back up my boat here and stick it behind the skeleton. Come on, there you go, get in. Oh man, I'm gonna die. Okay, now we have the creeper on us. We don't want him to blow up. So if you can, put the creeper in the boat. Perfect, creeper's in a boat, creeper's in a boat. Now it is skeleton time. Okay, skelly, my friend, it is time to get in a boat. There we go. So now the skeleton and the creeper are both inside of a boat and I mean, look at look at how I'm doing this without any armor on, okay? You can do this right now in your world. I didn't even have a base and I was able to get this technique up and running. Ignore the golden carrots. <laughs> now to make this a little easier, I am going to move my skeleton. So I'm just gonna get in here with him. And what's fun on Java edition at least is that he won't actually be able to hit me. There's this weird situation with that, with this. We don't want the creeper to explode. So we're not gonna get so close that he starts to go off. But now that we have the skeleton and the creeper in a boat, as you can probably imagine, it is going to be way simpler to line up both of them so that the skeleton will actually kill the creeper. I was a little bit low there, so the uh, the skeleton was shooting the boat. We don't want that to happen. We wanna be on the same level. And then once it finally kills that creeper, 
it will, man, that skeleton is a bad shot. It will drop a, uh, a, a, a disc just like the other one. These are two different discs. One is far, one is cat, and now we can kill our skeleton. Remember, the skeleton can be moved, but the creeper cannot, because if you get in the boat with the creeper, then it's gonna explode, but you can jump in the boat with the skeleton. Now, let me show you that this is actually quite easy on Bedrock Edition. So here we are on the Bedrock Edition. I happen to be on the Windows 10 version, but this will work on Switch, Xbox, PS4, phone, doesn't matter. So in this situation, and it is day, so the skeleton's gonna start burning up for me, uh, but you can do the exact same thing that we did over on the other side, of, and the other side being the Java Edition. I'm just gonna set the time tonight so that we don't have like, a whole bunch of stuff, you know, dying all the time. Uh, but there we go. So hopefully this guy's going to run at me. And yeah, there he is. Now he's stuck in the boat. And then you have a fun thing that... I keep calling it fun, but... Um, oh, no, don't blow up. Okay, there we go. Come on, walk at me. And that is that a creeper can actually get in the boat with the skeleton. And unlike the Java edition, the skeleton will actually hit the creeper when it is inside of the boat. So you only need to use ah, a single boat for this method. And I'm getting attacked by zombies. And let's see this guy die. Hopefully the zombies will leave me alone uh, while this happens. There he goes, he's dead. And now you have your music disc. For some strange reason over here in the Java edition, Whenever the skeleton shoots, it shoots through the creeper. So this method does not work in Java Edition. But I mentioned that there was A, another method to get the other two discs, but also that pig step is different. And the place to find that is here inside of a bastion remnant. So there are some chests and the chests do change depending on uh, what like area of the Bastion Remnant you are in. And so some areas may have a better chance to have the exact chest that would have pig step in it than others. I think the treasure room is one of the best options for you. This is the tiniest Bastion. Okay, here we go. I was like, where is the rest of this Bastion Remnant? So looking in here, none in here, but maybe over here. No, we got some Soul Speed 3. That's not bad. Is it in here? No, no. Curse of Van. That is the worst axe. I finally found a Bastion Remnant with a treasure room. And... Uh, where's, is there another one? No. Is that it? Oh, darn it. I didn't get one. Finally found one. Here we go. So that took me about... 10 chests and probably four bastion remnants to finally find the uh, one that had pig step inside of it. Now then, I mentioned that there was one other technique to find two discs in particular, and that is cat and 13. And the other method, other than the creeper method, and of course, getting the disc in the nether, is to find them inside of chests. Specifically inside of these dungeon chests. Let's see, do we got a, no, we didn't get lucky. <laughs> Aha, and we found one. So there is Cat. And let's see, does this one have one? Nope. But there you go. Now you know that you can find this disc inside of a dungeon chest. And remember, dungeons are these small little rooms that have the spawners inside of them. And you should also be able to find them inside of woodland mansions. Although there's not a ton of chests inside of Woodland Mansions. I just wanted I just wanted to check something. I just wanted to see if there's a Aha! I actually found one. Here is uh, here's the cat disc inside of this room inside of the Woodland Mansion. So those two discs can be found inside of dungeons and in woodland mansions. And there you have it. Those are all of the techniques on how to get every single music disc inside of Minecraft. Get them from creepers dying to a skeleton shot. Use boats in order to get that to happen. And if you're on bedrock, you have a much easier time of doing that. Then you can also get the pig step disc inside of the Bastion Remnant, and you can also find two special discs inside of these 
here woodland mansions thanks so much for watching this episode of omg craft if you enjoyed it please give this video a thumbs up really appreciate that also make sure you subscribe for future videos tips tricks tutorials and spotlights and let's plays here on omg craft if you want to directly support me you can click the join button to find out more by the way we have changed up the memberships a bit so even so whatever level you support at you get early access to videos and exclusive vlogs as well as all the other features so hit the join button to find out more and you can also buy merchandise at helloomg.com once again that's helloomg.com thanks so much for watching we'll see you on another video bye